that is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kaya and today we are going to watch We're Polyamorous Vampires. Yep, I found another one. I know. I know these are like your favorite videos, so I found another one. <laughs> and I'm really excited. I don't know what this means. I don't know. I know what polyamorous is, but I don't know what they mean by vampire, so we're, we're gonna find out. <laughs> um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please feel free to do so. I post weekly videos, mostly of in-depth metal reactions. Um, come and join our metal journey. We're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers, y'all, and if we do, we get to have a Twitch and have so much fun. We can do live music reactions. Um, horror readings, I don't know, I'll play some music, we'll hang out, do some gaming, it's going to be super, super fun. So make sure you subscribe, join our Discord, the mosh pit down below, there's an invite link waiting for you, okay? Um, my forehead itches. <laughs> uh, it's waiting for you, it's a very fun, loving community, and we would love to see you there. Um, also, the people that are in the Discord get a say in what bands get featured in our weekly polls. So if you like to vote on those weekly polls, bestie, come join the Discord and have a say in what bands actually get chosen for those polls. Like, share this video with a friend, and um, let me know what you thought about it. So, let's get into the video. It's Daily. I am a polyamorous vampire fairy witch. She fell in love with Logan. Logan and I have been together well over 10 years now. Got married in 2016. They also live with Logan's girl. Did he just lick her? Ooh. A polyamorous fairy fairy with friend Elona. His girlfriend is just as important as I am. Both relationships are equal. And today, Daly is celebrating her two-year anniversary with her coven of polyamorous witches. Aww. Since finding love in their polycule, Daly has been criticized for her choice in relationships. When you see a man with multiple partners, you're like, oh yeah, high five, you know? But when a woman is with multiple partners, it's like, oh, she's a I would describe our relationship as a, definitely like a life partnership. We make each other laugh constantly. We tease each other constantly. He loves to tickle me until I throw him off me. He's extremely supportive. So far we've only seen like one dude and they keep like mentioning, like I don't know if the, well, no, I guess she was like kissing three other people. So it's not just him. Cause I was gonna say that would be like culty. Is this kind of like cult behavior? I don't know. I've always been very attracted to her unique energy spectrum that she puts off that no one else does in the same kind of way. Oh my name is mm. me. Oh. Our relationship was polyamorous from the beginning. His girlfriend is just as important as I am. Now we are married, so like obviously that comes with some responsibility. Yeah. But as far as like relationship, both relationships are equal. She's always been she's always been here. She's never not been here. I think I moved in with you guys like what? It was like It was like six years ago. Yeah. No, but it was like Whoa. two months into us like actually dating. Oh, for yeah. Sure. Like it was really fast. All three of us used to be together and then they broke up and then we broke up and then we got back together. She's just been here ever since. So today is actually the two-year anniversary. Hold on, hold on, okay. Let's gather our thoughts here, okay? They're married. He started dating this other woman. She moved in at two months in, and then the women broke up, and then one of them broke up with the other girlfriend, and then they all got back together again. Great, understanding this. I really like this bleach blonde girl. She's hat. She's got some great Daenerys Targaryen, like, hair flowing in the wind. The girlfriend. Also, what do they have on here? Why do you have, like, barbecue ribs, pork beans, and mashed potatoes with cream, Sprite? Some sort of... What is that? What kind of plushie is that? I don't even know. With me and my three other partners. And it's also the anniversary of our coven forming. So today we're kind of celebrating our anniversary. We're gonna do a little ritual and also go to dinner and just have a, a little coven date. So we are in a polycule. And a polycule is essentially just the word for 
a network of people that are all dating in some way. All connected through dating. They're all dating. connected through a romantic relationship. Yeah. So in our polycool, we have me and Logan who are married, and then I have my partner Jeffrey who is a gay man, and then I have my girlfriend Zoe uh, who is married to my boyfriend Zeph. And then Logan has his girlfriend Alona, and then Jeffrey also has a boyfriend. Seven people. That's an orgy. That, that, that's an orgy. They have had to have had all seven of them. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of things going on, okay? A polycule, huh? There's like a whole like name for it and they call it a coven. No wonder people, look at your dang house, girl. You're looking like witches and wizards. I mean, people are going to think you're in some kind of weird sex cult with that polycule and whatever else. No judgment for me, but all I'm saying is you might want to read a Bible and maybe marry all of these people. I don't know. Oh, the coven is myself, Jeffrey, Zoe, and Zeph. Okay, so it's smaller. We use the term coven because we do practice magic together. Mm -hmm. We identified that we each represented one of the, the elements, mm -hmm. yeah. and we did a ritual together, and it was just like the yeah. energy was so palpable, and we kind of all just looked at each other and were like, what happened? After we started doing rituals together, we started forming a romantic partnership. We would get together and you could feel like, energies. the magic and the, the connection and the chemistry. I just found myself falling in love with these people. I call upon a direction of the east, the watchtower of the east, the direction of new beginnings and transformations and change. Join us now, hell and welcome. I don't hell. understand his haircut. I don't understand what's going on with it. He's got like this like side sideburn, like an actual sad sideburn. Uh, and it's like partly shaved. It's kind of cool. You know, I like this whole like magic thing. I've never partaken in this, but I think it's kind of cool that they got like the magic ball and stuff. Cause I've always loved like, I don't know, I play D and D and I like do various different things that like, I don't know. I feel like I would love to do like cosplay and stuff, but that's not the same as like doing a magic ritual, but. This is weird. Welcome. Welcome. I call upon the Watchtower of the South, the element of fire, of passion and purification. Bring strength to our circle. Hail and welcome. Hail, Hail and welcome. welcome. Who are you I call upon the Watchtowers of the West, water, intuition, sacred knowledge, and the ancestors. Hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. I call upon the Watchtowers of the North, the guardians of Earth, the roots of old and new. Bring strength and Why is he saying this like he's in Game of Thrones? It's not a watchtower. You're not in what was it that Jon Snow was in? Black Crows or something? Yeah, in that. You're not wearing backing clothes. Bubba. You look like Beetlejuice, okay? It ain't happening for you. Hi. Hail and welcome. Hail and welcome. Hail. We all identify as witches and basically what that means is we, we work with the energies and the elements around us uh, to create alchemy and to create changes in our lives. Roots of old and always binding. Roots of old and always binding. Roots of old and always binding. This planet is very much alive. It's a breathing spirit and we are in communication with it. a negative kind of aspect when a woman is poly because misogyny you know, misogyny yeah because when you see a man with multiple women or multiple partners they're like oh yeah high five you know but when a woman is with multiple men or or you know multiple partners it's like oh she's a ah. <laughs> all right let's go eat no. but maybe i always get these who will walk up to me and they'll go, hey, man, I just see that you've got all these chicks, man. Like, how do you do that? Like, just, like, teach me. And I'm like, well, I'm, I'm polyamorous. It's just one of those things where, like, you know, as long as you are being open and everything. Uh, it's still pretty culty. 
okay? I don't care if you're a woman doing it or a man doing it. You live your life, you do whatever you want, but this is culty. Borderline culty, okay? And there's, there's things that they're doing that's like, it definitely switched to cult behavior. I mean, you're already doing magic ceremonies, so... Also, yeah, dudes can have multiple partners or wives and have it be like really freaking weird, okay? There was a documentary on Netflix already about that in like some Christian, oh, I forget what it's called. Go on Netflix. It's like Keep Sweet, something like that. It's, it's an awesome documentary, awesome documentary about the super crazy Christian sex cult and, uh, yeah, it's like dudes with like literally 20 wives. So yeah, dudes can get a bad rep for having lots of women too. It's consensual okay. between you and your partners. You're consenting adults doing whatever you want. That's great. People see, you know, us and they find out that we're poly and they're like, oh my God. I could never do that. But, but they, then, they've like, cheated on their husband like three times yeah. or their wife or they've divorced and remarried with people they've cheated with. I'm like, and that's normal for you? That's yeah. what you consider normal? Just, you know, if you want to have sex with other people, if you want other relationships, just say that, admit that. You'll find someone who's cool with that. Well, and life is so short and, and life is hard hard you find those patterns yes. of joy mm -hmm. and and love like hold on to it and like screw what everybody else thinks yeah. because yeah or screw everybody else. else or screw everybody <laughs> else if that's what gives you joy <laughs> <laughs> all right i want to make a toast here is to two years of my beautiful coven being part of our yeah. polycule i love you guys so much thank you for bringing so much magic into my life so question so if she has a coven is it like exclusive? Like, would you say that it's like two separate things then? So like her coven, <gasps> wait, I'm confused. So she has this one relationship with these two people, her husband and the girlfriend, and then the coven. And then they finally, like two years ago, they, she had that separate. And then two years ago, they all joined forces into this weird, sexy cult thing. Love you guys. Cheers. Yay. Yay. She had the same magic. <laughs> like an alfalfa sprouts hanging out of it. All right. I mean, look, I ain't judging, all right? I'm, I don't judge in any of these. We don't judge. We're just here to see what the sitch is, right? Um, so the sitch is, is this is kind of weird, borderline culty, but I'm here to support it, you know? Love is love, and you can do what you want. Uh, just don't, you know, don't be weird. Don't be, uh, don't be gross. You know, and you know what I mean by that. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I think that's going to do for the video. <laughs> what did you think about these polyamorous vampires? I still don't understand what the vampire aspect is, though, because, like, they go out during the day. They don't drink blood. Like, why do you identify as a vampire? Like, what's, what is it? Um, I guess I'm confused. So let me know what you thought of today's video. Do you want to be one of these polyamorous vampires? Do you identify as a vampire? Because, like, if you do, bestie, good for you. Um, anyway, subscribe to the channel. You already know. Join this metal journey. Let's get to 10,000 subscribers so we can start a Twitch. Like and share this video. Join the Discord and send me stuff in the P.O. box if you want something featured in the metal unboxing videos. If you haven't checked out the first one, do so here. <laughs> do so here. It's a really fun video, and I'm sure you guys would enjoy it. Also, um, check out the new concert vlog I posted on August Burns Red. Um, that was a super fun show, and... Uh, I featured one of my songs in the video as well as my dogs. So go and check that one out too. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye you guys. I love you.